Ghana's fishing industry has over the years been confronted with challenges including illegal modification of gears by industrial trawlers to catch juvenile fishes and dumping of fish at sea. These illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing practices have resulted in the European Union issuing a second yellow card to Ghana. Speaking at an event to launch the electronic monitoring system, the Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Mavis Hawa Kumsen, said the pilot phase of the exercise will last for a period of 12 months, following which there will be a full rollout by December 2025 on all licensed industrial trawlers and tuna vessels operating in Ghana's exclusive economic zone. She said the deployment of the electronic monitoring system will contribute to a number of measures being implemented by her outfit to ensure compliance to all fashion practices. Currently, Wofa and Fisheries Commission is implementing a vessel monitoring system and automatic identification system as a means of monitoring fishing activities of vessels at sea. However, these measures are inadequate in getting real-time evidence of activities on board fishing vessels at sea. Ladies and gentlemen, the deployment of EMS on industrial trawlers has therefore come at the appropriate time. EMS uses onboard video cameras, global positioning system, and sensors to automatically track and verify fishing activities on board fishing vessels. We are today witnessing the start of the pilot phase of the program during which EMS equipment will be deployed on three industrial trawlers. The pilot phase is for a period of 12 months and the result will be used to scale up to cover all licensed industrial trawlers and tuna vessels operating in Ghana's EEC by December 2025. With recent concerns over pirate activities on high seas, the minister added that the electronic monitoring system will help tackle the menace. Because before they get near them, they will know that there's going to be an attack. And based on that, they will send a signal to us. Then we can also report to the authorities and then they will go to their rescue. President of the Ghana Industrial Trawlers Association, in his address, appealed to the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development and the Fisheries Commission to collaborate with his members, whose vessels will be used in the piloting exercise. Since the initiative, it's a pilot program. Jita want to appeal to Morfat FC to collaborate and cooperate well with members who are voluntarily giving their vessels for the piloting exercise. We further urge Morfat 